Um, number 68, Sergeant Henderson. Um, yes, Your Honor, we were discussing what exactly he would testify to as it related to the April, excuse me, until the October 2020 armed robbery. Um, mm -hmm. As we stated yesterday, Sergeant Henderson not only investigated the October armed robbery, but he also investigated the April 2019 armed robbery involving Mr. Huey. Um, as it relates to the October armed robbery, he will talk about, Mr. Huey had a phone that day as well. He received consent to search that phone, excuse me, the day that Sergeant Henderson interviewed Mr. Huey. He obtained his phone, was able to go inside of his phone. That phone will, um, we will be seeking to admit that cell phone into evidence and contents of that cell phone into evidence. And so those are some of the items that he will testify to. I think the question is, what else will he testify to um, besides speaking with Mr. Holloman? So those are just some of the other items that he will be testifying to as it relates to the incident that occurred in October of 2020. So, Your Honor, um, in response, uh, Sergeant Henderson interviewed Mr. Holloman, and the court has already excluded uh, on the basis of uh, confrontation clause and Mr. Holloman not being here with us. Uh, so an interview, uh, photographic lineup process, that's right. all already been excluded right. and kept out. The other issue is that in the document here before us, um, the state is indicating that he's going to testify to, quote, similarities in an April 2019 robbery, and it says with Fleetwood. There's been no uh, evidence that I'm aware of where uh, Mr. Fleetwood was charged with an April 2019 armed robbery, so similarities and things of that nature. I think that that's going to create a 404 Maybe a 404B argument that we haven't received notice on. Not sure. Not sure how this Fleetwood person is going to be uh, injected into um, this discussion with uh, Sergeant Henderson in terms of testimony. And um, they indicated they were four days apart. So um, I'm going to object on that on the grounds of relevance. There's been no um, proffer, no showing that a four day alleged armed robbery with Fleetwood is somehow similar. So I'm not clear what their basis is going to be for attempting to introduce some extraneous alleged armed robbery with, with a Mr. Fleetwood. And when we say robbery with Mr. Fleetwood, do we mean Mr. Fleetwood participated as a co-perpetrator or Mr. Fleetwood was the victim? So, Your Honor, at 85 and 86, and 87 are an April 22, 2019 armed robbery in which Javon Fleetwood is a defendant who is a YSL co-conspirator. In that April 22, 2019 armed robbery, Mr. Fleetwood is alleged to have robbed an individual um, in the Jonesboro South area. The way that Mr. Fleetwood gets to that armed robbery location is in a black Mustang. Um, that black Mustang is what's going to be the relevant piece of information. Mr. Fleetwood gets out of his, out of that black Mustang, out of the passenger side of that vehicle, goes inside of a building, robs an individual, and steals his car. Four days later, this armed robbery with Mr. Huey takes place, and the suspect vehicle in that armed robbery is a black Mustang. Um, we have pictures of Mr. Fleetwood and Mr. Huey together on in Instagram. We have pictures of that black Mustang that we believe is the same Mustang used in both incidents. So there's some similarities between the April 22nd, 2019 armed robbery, okay. which is three of our overt acts or the April which? They 20, are 85, 86, and 87. The April 22nd with that Fleetwood is alleged to have Perpetrated? Yes, Your Honor. Are over at Acts 85, 86, and 87. Okay. And then these over at Acts happened four days after that arm robbery. Okay, can we ask <laughs> IT to figure out why we are having sound issues again, or do you already know? 
Do we just have cheap microphones? Okay. Okay, so if these are over at X, then y'all ought to, that are listed in the indictment, y'all ought to know about them. So, Your Honor, with respect to how they are attempting to somehow link, uh, I guess, a, a, a Fleetwood case with uh, Mr. Huey in terms of similarities, what we haven't heard is that this particular Mustang, uh, we don't have a tag number for this Mustang. We don't have an identity of anyone who is allegedly driving this Mustang on this date that this Fleetwood uh -huh. case allegedly took place on. Uh, we don't even have uh, evidence of who is supposedly driving uh, a, a Mustang with respect to uh, this uh, incident concerning uh, Mr. Huey. We don't have uh, a year making a model. We don't have – what we have here is that, oh, that we have a, a black Mustang, a Ford Mustang. Uh -huh. I guess that's their connection of Black Fort Mustang. And somehow that's supposed to link two, two, arm, two armed robberies on um, different dates. Okay, so in, in what? This officer will be saying what? I, I was already investigating this other one, and I noticed that – are they both in the same area of town? No. No, so ironically – So what are they what, – what would he be saying was similar? Because when I say similarities, I mean the fact that – Javon Fleetwood and Marquavis Huey are friends based upon okay. Instagram, based All right. upon that. So in the armed robbery on April 22nd, 2019, uh -huh. Mr. Fleetwood arrives. And a black Mustang and gets out of the passenger side of it Correct. to go perpetrate the armed robbery. And then okay, four then days what? later in, in the Buckhead community, a, same, a very similar black Mustang is involved in that armed robbery of Mr. Maynard. And that Mr. Huey is and Mr. Huey is driving that alleged to have been the driver. No, he's alleged to have been the the perpetrator of that armed robbery. And did he get out of the passenger side? Or does anybody know? It's not alleged. He, it's not, I'm we sorry. cannot tell from the surveillance video. What we know is the victim will say, "I saw and heard a black Mustang." Mr. We believe an individual in a yellow jacket. We believe to be Mr. Huey. Okay, is in that area. Then we have Instagram posts of Mr. Huey in a black Mustang that he is saying that he has possession of. That is his Mustang. He has about two or three pictures of himself in this black Mustang, okay. all in and around the time of these two incidents. So circumstantially, Your Honor, Mr. Huey was never charged in the April 22nd, 2019 armed robbery, but the fact that this black Mustang is involved in two armed robberies very close in time with two individuals who associate with each other is what those similarities are. And judge okay, about. but in 85, 86, and 87, y'all, the state is only asserting that Fleetwood did these things, right? Co correct. Yes, Your Honor. Right. And then, Judge, if I could just respond in to the court's initial question regarding where is it alleged that these perpetrators in the Buckhead uh, armed robbery According to the witnesses on scene, mm -hmm. the alleged victims, they are claiming that two individuals, that there was a driver of this Mustang, mm -hmm. and they indicated that two individuals got out of the back seat of this Mustang and began to uh, – Okay. So to answer the court's question, there's no evidence or indication that Mr. Huey uh, – Again, was at this Fleetwood alleged armed robbery. There's no indication that Mr. Huey was driving a Ford Mustang on, on, at this Buckhead uh -huh. alleged armed robbery. I think all we have here, Your Honor, is a black Ford Mustang that is alleged to have been involved in, in two, two armed robberies, armed robberies in two different before. parts of town. There's no evidence or indication that Mr. Huey was involved or part of a you know, this okay, but there there is Instagram from Mr. Huey's Instagram that shows him to be claiming ownership of a black Mustang. Yes. The, well, there's there's, okay. Insta, there's Instagram photograph that shows Mr. Huey 
in a photograph with not only a black Ford Mustang with an infinity, other, other vehicles, there is an Instagram photograph with Mr. <coughs> Huey being uh, in the same photograph with a Mustang. Yes, okay. but there is no evidence that Mr. Mu that Mr. Huey owned okay. a black well, Ford Mustang. He, he yeah. was around, had access to. But in terms of the connection, so I think it's tenuous. This investigator is going to say what? Was he already investigating the April 22nd one? Yes, he was assigned the April 22nd armed robbery, 2019. He was assigned the April 26, 2019 armed robbery. And interestingly enough, he ended up investigating the October 1st, 2020 armed robbery. Okay. So he investigated all three armed robberies. And so robberies. he's just going to say, so he's going to be testifying about both, both of those armed robberies at the same time. Yes. Okay. When he's on the stand. Yes. And he's going to say a black Mustang was used in this one. And then he's going to say, a black Mustang was used in this one. Yes. That's it. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't he can say both of those things. I don't see how that's, again, Your Honor, I just would argue for our purposes uh, that there, the connection is not enough and under uh, What do you mean is not enough? I mean, I don't think he's going to, he's not going to say, so I think he was also involved in the Fleetwood armed robbery, is he? No. Okay. He's, well, then, right. he's not going to say that. He can't he's say He's not that. going to say that. He can't say it. Correct. Okay. So does that wrap up the issues for this? For us. Okay. Yes. All right. So is there anything else about um, Henderson's potential testimony that we need to sort out now? Or that we can sort out now? I think we're okay, Judge. Okay. All right. So I will... Take that tab off as well.